Hey everybody, I'm back. I'm going to give you a progress update before I head off to bed. It's kind of late. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch around. There we go. And here we go. This is temporary. This is going to move. But here's the outer part. I'm going to be putting this all along the front here. Yay. Um, we have some obsidian pressure plates. And this trickery is through micro blocks going underneath the um, middle part of the wall here. And then we can come up. Ooh! Dang it. Well, there's a little bit of glurp there, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> so, come in here and let me turn back to myself. A lot easier to show you from. A standard height. Okay, so. Woo! Lag spike. Here we are, we'll go through. As you can see, it fits just right. Um, I put these here to keep, like, baby zombies and um, any type of spiders getting up through. So, this is too small for any small creature to get through. Um, these are silver wood planks. So, I made those as a border here, like I did on the bottom. And uh, I've been using these uh, fancy stone bricks um, and fancy stone brick slabs as a doorway, uh, like a mudroom or landing um, areas. I forget exactly what they're called. I'm tired. <laughs> uh, I've rearranged this. So, floors are going to denote exactly what you do in an area, generally. Generally, not exactly. So, this is uh, going to be the rubber gathering room. Come over here, there's another exit outside. But, generally, this is going to be like where we hang up our zombie flesh for uh, creating monster jerky and junk. Well, I'm thinking about making it two on either side, but that's okay. Might even put it in here to hide it away. But this is a small room. We'll put doors here. And uh, let's go ahead and. These are a pain to get. But there we go. There we go. Uh, uh. We'll grab all those. Let's swap places, shall we? What we can do is just come in here and. put it there but we can put it there then that's two then that's two and then one two three one two three ah excellent we can actually get all of these off the wall I don't really like them there. maybe we can do something novel like put up paintings All right, and then there's that. And then we'll mirror it on this side. This is where we'll hang up our meat to dry. That will work wonderfully. Wonderfully well. And then of course we'll put our door here so that uh, we won't see any of it. I think that is awesome. And that also means that we'll be putting uh, blocks at the too high height here to hide that off but uh, since we don't have a lot of zombie flesh usually we can go ahead and pull these down maybe what we can do is put up tool racks or something here to hold tools that we use before we go out adventuring or something I don't know we'll see we'll see all right so let's just go continue the tour we come around in here and put my bed in there, but this is going to be a machine room. It's nice and airy and light. Come up the stairs. And here we are. This is pretty much unchanged except for that. And, uh, ah, um, let me see. Yeah. I'm going to have to put in two nubs there. Do I have the nubs on me? Nah. Make a nub. There we go. There's a nub. 
Is that a nub right there? No. Okay, a nub goes here. Full slab. And a half slab here. There we go. This is a half slab, but it's a pillar, they say. So I thought that looked extra sharp. Look at that. Look at that. Um, you don't even know that you're going to run into a, a wooden floor until you get up here. I think that looks really nice. And I was thinking about running a, <laughs> a stone all the way around the border. But we'll, we'll see. Um, you also didn't know that there was um, the redwood bark slab up here. Yay! For when this finally becomes whatever it is. This will turn into a normal room too, I think. We'll uh, probably end up moving the smell tree again. Um, maybe down here somewhere. We can take this chair. Enjoy. <sighs> Let's go get the chair back. And we will put the chair out here. There we go. Um, anyway, we, we'll just fly up here. So, there's that. And, of course, here's the enchanting room. I finished off the wall here as well using micro blocks and the wall up here. This one is fully complete all the way around. Um, then we have a light in the middle of the floor which will illuminate both up and down so we only need the torches on the corners. And I'm thinking about finding lights that we can get rid of torches entirely. We'll see. Nothing has changed down below though. You can see it's pretty much the same right there and right there but all this is going to move up a floor up like two blocks as I told you we get rid of these two blocks here and then we'll uh, have this like right up to here well this is where the lights will be right there I think so if we move everything up two blocks that's one two three four five so one two three four five yeah that's where the lights will be that will be ugh, stupid tree and uh, it will go up and we'll be able to continue putting more down now the same thing that I have back here I can actually put back here and have this continue on down which would be awesome but right now it's just gonna stay machine room on the back I think at least this level here it would be really good to have full up. But from above, I wanted it to look sort of like a leaf. So you got it, it goes curved here, straight, straight, and curved here, then straight. The um, thing that really changes it up is this. And I'm thinking about pushing the porch out all the way to here. And having the stairs come out this way instead. Why is it I get email every time? Erg. So I think that'll look really nice. Um, I I pulled up the uh, Ender Pearl farm, Ender Lily farm. Um, can I use that nub in there? Will that even work? No, we have to get rid of this for it to work there. I think. Yeah, uh, still looks okay, but if I bring this all the way out to here and then have the exit done like that, probably right here where the stairs are, where the doors are, sorry, I think that'll look pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, we're going to need a place for the farms since uh, I pulled up the farm over here. And I'm, wow, look at the color of the grass. I didn't even notice that. Let's see here. We're in extreme hills. And it turns it into magical forest. 
Ooh, nice. Now, I don't know what that means, but the grass sure is green. <laughs> okay, um, maybe we'll plant more silver wood trees around here to uh, increase the greenery. I don't know. But I think this uh, building is turning out quite nice. I don't know about this uh, solid glass ceiling. We'll have to think about that. Oop, wrong key. But overall, I think we're, we've got a pretty good base started here. I'm um, yeah we don't need that I really like how this turned out here and I like having the, the rooms divided now I'm thinking if I do a a nub of this and a nub of that I can put a nice transition there I don't know we'll have to see I'm liking the transitions like that And now we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But this is a really good idea. I like this. We do need to put this somewhere. Let's, let's see if I break that. Where does it go? Oh, right there. Hmm. Let's put this guy back. There we go. And put this guy back. So we might just go ahead and... Oh, well, we can't put him anywhere without causing issues. I mean, like right there? Eek. That's grotesque looking. Might just throw a torch down here. Like right there. Or better yet, we'll put... We'll kill this. torch there. The only problem is we have this, so we can do that. Which is traditional Minecraft lighting, unfortunately. Um, and I'd like to have it mirrored. There we go. So, that's pretty much the tour. There's not much else to see. Eventually, this will have full floor as well. And probably, uh, a wall around because uh, I want to try and make this as spider f um, spider removal fr or spider deterrent friendly as possible so they can't go and get in and chew your face off you know I uh, don't know what kind of s roof I'm gonna put on this thing maybe uh, We'll look at putting on something like that. I don't know. We'll have to see. And I forget exactly where this goes. Okay, yeah, it goes out here. Um, I was out looking for a slime. Where is it? Uh, a slime island? And I found one somewhere over there, I think. And... Because there was one near where the old base was in the sacred forest. And I was thinking about going there. But, uh... Nope. Nothing really happened with that. Is that over here? Maybe? I can't remember exactly where it was. This is definitely Extreme Hills. Ooh, I'm going to go ahead and grab those while we're here. Get the copper. Where's that tin? Tin gravel. Why are they... 
colored tin gravel the same as copper? I will never know. Um, we can definitely use these little resources. Oh, and there's some more right there. I have to get this thing repaired soon. But until then, we're good. Man, some of these formations in the extreme hills are wacky but cool at the same time. And I would like to try something with gravel ore. If I see some more. Oh, here's our uh, volcano. And that's our base right there. So eventually, we'll get down to some of these uh, other layers, these levels, and we'll do something there. I wonder if there have been any pigmen that have spawned and died. I don't think so. But we do need a place for uh, the farms. I know I keep jumping all over the place. I think right here would be an excellent spot for our ender pearl farm. We need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Talk about perfect. Because it's out of the way and we don't get all pokified when we run into the things. And then one, two, well, we don't want the berries to be three high and cover up the windows. Maybe we can put the berries in another place. I mean, that's two and a little high. What the heck? Why would we have any spawn stuff there? Go ahead and put a torch right there and get rid of that one. Uh, we shouldn't even need a torch. Because those three things will take care of any of that. There we go. Yeah, this should all be spawnable area. So... We'll think about where to put the, the berry bushes. We've got raspberry, blueberry, and bla blackberry, and malberry. So let's look at doing... Uh, I don't know. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that works. Blackberry bush right next to it. One, two, three, four, five, six. A space, and we put down our five malberries. One, two, three, four, five. The sixth one will go there. And then we'll put down our blueberries. One, two, three, four, five, six. I do have dirt. That's good. We can put it right here. And then we'll throw a torch. Oh, we don't have to. Okay. So that should be that. Let's see. Is that on? Yep. That's right there. 
And that should be good. So these will go three high. Yeah. These are all one high. So I'm thinking about putting a harvester. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I need two more and we'll have a, a decent farm we can set up. So a harvester will um, automatically harvest everything within a 3x3 three three without any upgrades. And then we can have these berries go down into a, um, a barrel or a deep storage unit or a chest or even get converted into uh, mob essence for a farm. Another wart. Oh, we can probably just leave there for now. We'll probably move that downstairs in a, a potion room. So, I think we're going to be sitting pretty here for a while. And we can probably even get rid of this entire wall all the way down. And uh, put something else there, because there's water right there. And once we get rid of that water, we'll be able to um, take care of all of this here. Yep. So, uh, and this is iron gravel and tin, so we can pulverize that. And uh, right in here we've got sand and gravel. I want to pulverize this gravel so that uh, we can get flint. And we'll use flint for uh, creating coal balls and stuff like that. Um, I think we need more obsidian. So I'll look at the obsidian generators. And we need coal. Lots more coal. So once we get that, we will be sitting pretty. Until then, I'm going to head out and get some sleep. Ugh. So, oh, this is Excalibur. I enjoy playing Minecraft, I'm punching things, I enjoy playing games. I am out.